Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 26212 for version 24H2. Well, finally, we have a new build for the Canary channel. I think for about a few weeks, two or three weeks, we didn't have any new builds for the Canary channel. Now we finally have one. And in this video, of course, we're going to cover everything that there is new to it, new improvements, new changes, and also fixes that can be found in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build related to Windows Share, users will now be able to generate QR codes for URLs and cloud file links through the Windows Share window to share web pages and files across their devices. You can try this out in the Microsoft Edge or even in Windows. If you're trying to share a link through the Microsoft Store, you're going to have this new button, generate QR code. And I think this is useful to be able to quickly share things across devices, phones, and so on. Also, you're going to notice a change related to the Share window. You can no longer dismiss it by clicking out outside of it, you have this dedicated button, this dedicated close button that you can use to close the window. And also, if your Microsoft account uses a Gmail address, you can now send emails to yourself from Windows Share window and receive it into your Gmail account. One thing related to Copilot in this build, Microsoft has decided to stop the rollout for the Copilot acting like a normal animation or the new Copilot animations in the taskbar. I think this is done so that they can quickly fix a few issues and most likely in the near future, those will start to roll out again. As far as I know, these features can still be enabled in the builds that support it, of course, but they're automatically disabled and they cannot be rolled out by default. So you need to follow some of my previous videos if you want to enable that. Also, as spotted by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter, in this build, we have a new welcome back text which can appear on the login screen when signing in with a Microsoft account. This is disabled by default, but it can be enabled. So I think this is something pretty interesting and there could be more coming in the next few builds related to this. We also have some fixes in this build, for example, some general fixes, Microsoft fixed the issue causing advanced startup options to not work. This also fixes the progress wheel from not showing when booting. Microsoft also fixed the issue causing features on demand to not install. Related to Copilot and Windows, Microsoft is rolling out a fix for the issue causing Copilot to auto-launch unexpectedly for Windows Insiders in the Canary Dev and Beta channels after restarting their PCs. This was unrelated to the auto-launching experience that Microsoft tried out with Insiders in the Canary and Dev channel. Related to Taskbar System Tray, Microsoft fixed an issue that caused the taskbar to be partially off-screen on secondary monitors. And they also fixed an issue that caused Narrator to be silent while rearranging your apps on the taskbar. Related to the file explorer, they fixed an issue which was causing file explorer to sporadically crash when using path suggestions in the address bar, and they also fixed an issue which could cause file explorer to crash sometimes when going from the search box to the body of file explorer. Related to windowing, they fixed a couple DWM crashes which could cause the screen to appear to flash, and also some other fixes fixed an issue that was causing some people to repeatedly see a message saying live captions were being missed, and they also fixed an underlying issue which was causing Visual Studio to fail to debug x64.net framework console applications, the app would crash. So this is pretty much all there is to the Canary Channel build. Not something pretty big or exciting, but hopefully Microsoft will start to test out some of the more new features for Windows 11 24 H2. I think the reason that the last few builds have been pretty boring, in my opinion, is because Microsoft focused on releasing the RTM build for 24H2. And right now, after they did that, they can safely test out new features for Windows 11 24H2. If you want to check out all the known issues in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.